Harry suffered worst nightmare. Jason Manford makes fun and turns him to be clown for his dirty act. Starstruck Judge Jason Manford sparked uproar on the show last night, with a dig at Prince Harry. The comedian prompted gasps from his co-stars Sheridan Smith and Beverly Knight after they watched three Harry Styles impersonators perform. Jason, 40, told them, Wow! Three Harrys, it's like the royal family's worst nightmare. Beverly was seen with her mouth open in shock while Sheridan, also 40, told him off, yelling, You can't say that. Starstruck host Holly Mers was seen silently laughing at the side of the stage beside the contestants. The quip was a reference to the headaches the prince is thought to have caused the royals since stepping down as one. Harry moved to California with wife Meghan and their children, buying an iron bed, 13 bathroom home for around £11.5 million in 2020. This week it emerged Harry would not be returning to the UK to attend his grandfather Prince Philip's memorial service. Senior aides revealed that Her Majesty was informed of his snub a quarter of an hour before his statement about Prince Philip's service was issued. It read, The Duke will not be returning to the UK in late March, but hopes to visit his grandmother as soon as possible. Away from the jokes, Starstruck's three Harry Styles tributes got a warm reception from Jason. He told them, this was another hard one tonight. Just go out there and be the sexiest man on the planet. That was a big ask. You really came out with such confidence and swagger. Like Harry you were confident but not smug. And that must be tempting when you're the world's sexiest man. Well done boys, you absolutely nailed it. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been invited to the Oscars next week, after he snubbed Prince Philip's memorial. The Duke of Sussex pulled out of the event on March 29th in a statement issued last Friday. Now, Harry could attend the Academy Awards alongside the former Suits actress. A source told, it's still up in the air, but in all likelihood, especially in the wake of recent publicity, Harry won't attend. It would be seen as a final kick in the teeth for the royal family if he did, he's too nervous to fly to London without police protection, but happy to stand up in front of a huge live audience at the Dolby Theatre. It comes after reports in January surfaced suggesting Harry could boycott the Academy Awards in a bid to avoid Kristen Stewart. The source told OK. US that Spencer struck a sour note with Harry. They said, he's pretty appalled by the film. Meghan and Harry, have been invited to all the big events and planned on attending the Oscars too, but they'd almost certainly come face to face with Stewart since she's a lock for a Best Actress nomination. Meghan figures they can just ignore Kristen or be briefly polite, but Harry's not one to be fake, and his nerves are still raw, the source said. The source continued, he's actually thinking about skipping the Oscars, but Meghan really wants back into the Hollywood scene. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's infamous Oprah interview showed the roles had reversed in their relationship and the Duchess is now her husband's protector, a body language expert has claimed. When Meghan agreed to marry Harry, she was also agreeing to become the Duchess of Sussex, and had a lot to learn about her newfound life. In the lead-up to their wedding and early on in their marriage, Harry helped guide Meghan through official engagements and meetings with the Queen and the rest of the family. But according to Judy James, a body language expert, a subtle hand gesture from the Duchess proved Harry's role as guide and protector is now over and the tide has changed in their relationship. Judy told the Mirror that Meghan's hand gestures during the famous interview showed she was confident while Harry was not. She said the prince was in need of support from his wife. The body language expert said, I think when Meghan came to the UK, Harry very much saw himself in the role of overly protective husband that knew that all hell was going to break loose in terms of press and public interest.